hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well today's video as you can tell by the title and thumbnail is my everyday makeup routine i asked you guys over on instagram as you like a little poll on there so if you don't follow me on instagram and you want to like have a little say or interact with me um check out my instagram i'll link it down below it's just gracie saunderson um i popped a little poll on this morning actually and said what video would you like to see i've had a request to do this video and also what's in my makeup bag so i did a little poll at the minute 67% of you guys have said my everyday makeup so I thought that I would film that one. If you have any video suggestions make sure to leave them down below. This video might be a little bit more chatty. I've also currently done my um, skincare routine so I'll do that in a completely um, separate video rather than talking about that and then getting on to makeup. Um, so yeah without rambling on too much I'm going to get into the video. If you like it give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below before you leave to see more videos from me. Let's get on with the video. As I mentioned, I've already moisturised my face. A lot of the time I don't really like to use a primer. However, I have been using this, which is the MAC Strobe Cream. I got a little sample of this um, when I ordered stuff from MAC uh, with my Christmas voucher. So I just use a little bit of this, not too much, and I just pop this all over and I just rub this in with my fingers really lightly. And you can see it just gives like a more pearlescent like finish to your face so for foundation i have used this for ages now it's the mac Shudo fix fluid mine is in the shade nc15 not 100 percent sure if it's like definitely my shade i am very pale and this is quite like a yellowy tone i'm not too sure i ordered it online you might know um, if you've been subscribed for a while or seen any of my previous videos I'm not a huge fan of going into Mac stores after my little experience um, there but yeah not really a fan of going into Mac so I'd rather like order online um, it's probably not my perfect shade I probably need NC 13 but oh well and I'm going to use this which is a like beauty blender from Marks and Spencers that I got in their um, advent calendar which I really really like it's every one of these that you purchase a percentage of the money goes um, to a charity I'm not sure how much of it but I think it's a pretty good chunk if not I don't want to say all the money but um, a good chunk of it goes it's really really good as good as the Real Techniques ones um, so I don't have a pump either for my foundation so I just pop a little bit on the back of my I think about that much is enough and then what I do which I never used to do but I just dab it all over my face I used to put it onto like a brush or whatever I was using first but now I just go in with it on here straight on I'm also going to have to use um, my little trusted mirror because I can't see in the viewfinder so I'm just going to bend all this in concealer I actually bought a new one of these the other day um, it is the collection lasting perfection concealer in the shade fair one I really really want to try the new makeup revolution ones but every time I've been into my local superdrug they don't have them um, which is really annoying because I really really want one and I've heard such good things about them so if you've tried any of them let me know if they're any good um, but I'm just gonna pop this underneath my eye I don't really have any really have many blemishes at the minute that I actually want to cover so I just do it there and a little bit around my nose where I tend to get a little bit red. I'm sorry if the mirror is in the way and annoying. I can't see. Then I'm just going to take my beauty blender again and blend it all out. I'm not sure if I mentioned I always make sure that my beauty blender is wet as well I can't work with it if it's dry at all for powder I'm gonna go in with my Mac studio care blend pressed powder and um, this one's in the shade light you can see I've hardly got anything left I need to get a new one I really really like it I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and then go in <laughs> I 
the next step I'm going to do is eyebrows and I've been really like trying out loads of different products with my eyebrows recently I've stuck to using um, the MAC, there's another MAC in this video, um, the MAC um, Fluid line, I've got Dip Down which is a dark brown and I've also got Dirty Blonde. I used Dirty Blonde the other day and I really really liked it so I might go back in with this. What I tend to do is just do Dirty Blonde at the front and then Dip Down like as a stronger brow. I know some people don't like that but I really do. And I also like to use the Avon makeup setting spray with that so I spray it onto a brush and I'm just gonna use an angle brush spray it onto the brush and then I dip it in the product and it just makes it go on so much nicer so yeah I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna start off with oh I can't open this now I've just sprayed all that over it um, I'm gonna start off with dip down and then blend a bit of dirty blonde in the front because I don't really like eyebrows that are really strong at the front I'm just trying to experiment I'm just gonna brush it through my eyebrows with this um, brush I got from Body Shop. I'm going with Dirty Blonde at the front. Once my brows are done, this is when I love to like add a bit of colour back into my face. So I'm going to use another MAC product. Um, this is the MAC Bronzing Powder in the shade Matte Bronze. I've had this for absolutely ages and I love it. So um, I'm going to use that. I'm just going to take a fluffy angled brush and then I just bronze my cheekbones. I do like the whole three thing in my cheekbones. I love to do it around my hairline, although my hair here is like half up, half down. So um, I'm not going to do as much as I would normally do because normally like, my hair would hide it, like my fringe and stuff. So I'm just going to add a bit of colour back into my face. to do is always keep my beauty blender right next to me and I always just go back in and just really softly like blend out anything that's a little bit too harsh just like that. next step is on to eyes I kind of change this up like I change up the products that I use but I stick to like similar colors it's a little bit of this and I use a little bit of this. So I'm gonna take Wedge, which is this color here, which is a really good like warm um, transition shade. So I'm just taking that on a fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that into my crease and out. I eyeshadow look is probably not like everyone's everyday eyeshadow look however if I don't wear eyeshadow I feel so naked so um, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay in the Naked Palette 3 um, Liar colour which is this one here I love this shade like this is so me it's just Then I always go back in as I'm doing this with my blending brush. I just blend all of that out as I go. Then use the same blending brush and I go in with this colour which is in my matte palette that looks really really gross now and I probably should buy a new one. I just that is Brown Down by MAC. It's I then like to use a finer brush and go in with brown down and just run this underneath my lower lash line.
the next step on my eyes which I have done this for ages probably like the last like three years is I use the Chanel cake liner it's basically like the old-fashioned cake liner you have two shades it's all really dirty and sticky because um, I use my Avon makeup setting spray and I spray it into where like the little brushes were with this I used my trusted so Eva um, wing liner brush this is amazing there's a bit of fluff on my camera let's get rid of that um, I just dip it in a little bit into the setting spray and then I run it into the dark black and I use this as an eyeliner and it's the best thing ever it literally lasts all day like it does not budge so I'm just gonna do like a little flick I'm not doing anything special so I just do like a little flick like that and then a line across the top like that next is on to eyelashes first thing i do is i curl them using the shoot mora eyelash curlers i live for these curlers they're a little bit expensive for curlers but like you will literally buy one in your lifetime um i think they're about 19 pounds which actually isn't too expensive but it is for curlers so i'm just going to curl my lashes I just squeeze like a few times like that and then let go and the difference is just unbelievable. For mascara I like to use the MAC Quarter Naughty 2 Black Lash Mascara. I've used this, used this? I have used this for again years, I love it and this is a new one, I haven't had it for years but um, I've used it for ages and I love it. Just go over everything with the first like wand there's another little wand on here not little it's actually the biggest the biggest wand um on here it's like a thicker one and i just go in the very outside bit of my lashes and also on the bottom just in the outside uh just on the outside few um lashes just do that for eyeliner, I have been using this, which is the Eye Definer um, Crayon, which is by Body Shop. I got it in their advent calendar. It's in the shade black um, or noir, and I'm just going to put this on the waterline. We're almost there, guys. Next step is blusher. So I'm going to use this one, which I absolutely love. I always forget what it's called. Is it called Amaretto? Yeah, it's from the... Um, Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette. I love this. It's this shade here. You can see how much I've used it. Um, so I'm just going to take the fluffy brush that I use my bronzer. I always like to reuse brushes. And I just concentrate the product on the apples of my cheeks and blend up like this. I don't worry about it at this point. I just pack the product on. I look a bit like a clown at the moment. And I just blend it up. Then what I do is get my trusted beauty blender and I dim all of this down with that. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter. I love this stuff. If you're into your glowy skin and you don't have this, you are missing out. This comes on comes on like a little pipette which I just squeeze a bit onto my hand you hardly need any like this is way too much um, and I just focus it on my cheekbones start off with tap it on it is literally like liquid gold I think I mean how amazing is that amazing um, I pop a little bit on my cupid's bow a little bit on the end of my nose and I just use it like that and then I blend it in with my finger like that if you can see I then always use a little like cotton bud I wipe off the excess that's on my um, back of my hand and I just pop it on my like tear duct 
just a little bit. So she just actually just like to use a tiny little bit. Just highlight that bit there. I mean, you see, it just makes a world of difference. It really does. For lips, I am using this, which is a NYX lip liner in the shade. I think it's nude suede shoes. Yeah, um, this is amazing. If you're of a similar skin tone to me and you're after a nude lip, this one all the way. Now for lips I tend to change it up quite a lot, most days I tend to wear like nude colours. Um, recently I have been wearing loads of these which are the NYX lingerie, lingerie even liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Push Up and I normally use, but I don't think I have it in my makeup bag at the moment, it's in a handbag somewhere, um, Baby Doll which is a slightly lighter one, um, but I found this the other day and I was like oh this looks like a really nice shade so I'm going to use it. And that is my finished everyday makeup look. I tend to change up products here and there, but I keep to a very similar look with like color wise. Um, but yeah, this is my current makeup look. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up before you leave and hit the subscribe button down below to see more videos from me. I upload on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. So yeah, make sure to stick around for those up and coming videos. If you have any video suggestions, pop them down below um, in the comment section and I will definitely add them to my to-do list. Also, make sure to follow me on any social media platforms that you might also be on, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, don't have Snapchat anymore, don't really use that. I'm on Instagram all the time. But if you have Instagram, make sure to follow me over there. Once again, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you very soon for another video.